Hello subscribers, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we will explore 10 powerful Excel functions that will boost your efficiency by 10x. So let's get started. Our first function is text join function. We will join these text first name and last name by using text join is equal to text join bracket start. Now your delimiter will be space. So I'm typing it in double quote the space then comma for ignore empty cells I am typing here true then comma now select your text close the bracket then enter just drag this to all and it's done so let's move to our next function that is text split function now we have full name here and now I want here first name and last name from this we can use text split function for this text split bracket start select your text now comma now your column delimiter will be your space in double quote type space then close the bracket then enter just drag this to all and it's done let's move to our next function that is filter function so I want to filter these employee quotes here just I'm using filter function bracket start select your array that you want to filter so these are the employee codes just freeze this by pressing F4 then comma now what from where you want to include just like the range freeze this range also then press is equal to and select your heading that is your department close the bracket then enter just drag this to all departments and you will get the result so next function is xlookup how to use xlookup now we have here name department and employee id now i have to find out for these employee id the name and department for this i am using xlookup bracket start select your lookup value then comma your lookup array will be your range of employee codes just select the range then comma now your return array will be your name and department close the bracket then enter just drag this and it's done now our next function is index match same here we have name department and employee code and i have to find that the name and department of these employee code for this i'm using index match right now index bracket starts select your array array will be your range of your full data then comma then use here match function select your lookup value then comma lookup array will be your range of employee codes then comma match type i want exact match so i am typing here zero then close the bracket then comma now i want here the name and departments which are on first and second column so i'm typing in curly bracket one comma two close the curly bracket then close the bracket then enter and you will get the result just drag this this is how you can use index match if you have this type of data you have employee code after your name and department so next function is vlookup i have employee codes on my first column names and department on my second and third column and i have to find out the employee codes name and department for this i am using advanced vlookup is equal to vlookup bracket start select your lookup value then comma table array will be your range with your headings then comma now in curly brackets we want here name and department which are on second and third column so i'm typing here two comma three close the curly bracket then comma now for exact match type here zero then close the bracket then enter see here you can use advanced vlookup like this so next function is wrap rows function how to use wrap rows function simply you can use by is equal to wrap rows bracket start select your vector that is your range that you want to wrap then comma now our wrap count will be 
you can type here three because I want this wrap to be in three columns. Just I'm typing in three, then close the bracket, then enter. See here, you will get the result. So next we have here wrap calls function. You can use here wrap calls. Bracket start. Select your vector. Then comma. Now I want these also in a three row. Then close the bracket and you will get the result. So next function is choose calls function. So just I want to find out A, C and D from this data. These three columns I want to find out. You can use here choose calls function. Select your array that is your data. Then comma. Now what I want to choose is first, third and fourth column, right? Just I'm typing here first, third and fourth. Just close the bracket and you will get the result. So next function is choose rows function. From this data, I have to choose these three rows, one, four and five. Just I'm choosing the row. For this, you can type choose rows function, bracket start. Select your array, same as choose calls, you have to select the array, then comma. Now our row number is first, fourth and fifth. Just close the bracket and you will get the result. If you like this video, don't forget to share this video. Thank you so much for watching.